All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode uh, that may or may not come out really soon. So I opened up uh, a total of six. Uh, yep, six giant chests, and of those six giant chests, four contained a legendary or an epic. I got a a witch, uh, goblin barrel. Uh, and a couple others that I don't use. Uh, but I was just amazed at the sheer number that it contained. And Troy said, do, 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 do. the drop rate's pretty high. I'd say about half of mine had epics. Uh, I, I did not know that at all. And he says, dude, you have to be at level 9. Nope. Holding out. I'm at 48.51. Let's see, 48.51 XP. Love the autocorrect. All right, so just had a win, uh, had a draw, and a defeat, and a defeat. So, well, I got you. Try to make this more than a minute and a half video. We might as well play a little something. I don't like it when I start with nothing. So I usually just do a standard defense and try not to give away. And I can see my next card doesn't offer me any help. That generally means he's going to come with something uh, big and beefy. Like that. Then we drop the poison here. And we keep them all in there by dropping him. Hope they all get blew away. Poison's a wonderful card. If that's my uh, my shop, it will definitely be bought. Uh, generally, I limit myself to two epics, but I would love to have the goal to buy a bunch. All right, so now we need to build up troops. Could do that. We got that again. Because he's going to come, and he's going to come hard. I'm not sure what to build. Definitely want to put that here. And that there. Be a defensive one that will draw him. Oh, I'm surprised it didn't draw back. But, as a great example right there. It's beautiful against defense. When positioned, bam. Take it out. Take it out. Don't nobody need it. Say thank. Good game. Thanks. Oops. And then we go back to the rebuild phase and just slowly watch it whittle away. Oh, good split on that. Oop, there, we, there we go. He has minions, which is. A great thing to know, because you have to be able to plan for those. And don't want to build it too close, because we know he's going to bring in something with it, because he's got to. I have overrun these consider it. Loss. It's just fireball. And I'm going to have troops running past. So it shouldn't be uh, no thing. I don't have a defense against that. Those are my silly little arrows. Maybe some decent damage. We just went grinding it times too slow try not to give them super duper maximum value cheats a little fireball that's gone get the Tesla there poison spell down 
down. And even if he takes it out, We want to save arrows for the inevitable time. And we just slowly grind away and lose. <laughs> well, not lose, draw. Wow. Good game, good game. I don't know if it's wow out of anger or wow. Because I, I personally think it's a nifty deck. I, I honestly haven't seen anybody using spawners with a mortar. But it's, it's decks like that uh, where I'm not sure if I could have played it better for the win. Cheeky Mortar in the back. We don't have any troops that walk. We need something that walks. Play something. Down, but stood up. That hurts. You give him a cry face. Sometimes stuff doesn't always work out how you want it to. Uh, come back from worse. But not out, as, as they say. I think that's an industry standard somewhere, right? Just keep building our fortress of poke and annoyance and deal with it, right? Lightning is a good way to deal with such poke. Probably a little impatient. On account of I got no troops. Good news is, is that's gonna fall and not pop back up. So I got that going for me. Uh, as Eddie uh, Bill Murray would have said. At least I got that going for me. Get in range of the towers, folks. He does too much to not be within range of the towers. Not exactly sure what to do. Oh, stop him, stop him. Stop him. Stop him, Bob Barker. I know that does 200 damage over 10 seconds. So, we can draw this if played properly. Not draw it, but we can put it into overtime. Oh no! We can't. Oopsies. Good game. I thought that that would do 200 and my arrows would do 100. I need to probably look at uh, what my arrows are capable of. 89. Ooh wee. That would be the uh, nerf that happened quite recently. Hey look, Rocket. What would you do? You guys get disappointed when you don't get cards you want like I I tried the rocket deck and it sucked I don't know how people can win you know you're struggling the whole time to try to keep them down just wishing that they would uh, make something or, or play something so you can get good value give away a lot of things so counter his first play That's good. 
Let's go for it. Let's go for it, folks. Got some good defense going. Some standard fireball. I, I kind of expected to not have to use poison, but it looks like I should have oughta. Shoulda, coulda. Got a couple shots off. So, got that advantage ish. I'll get one more uh, deployment out of them and then back by some spear goblins. Ought to be helpful. My my new levels. Hey, look, get a hit. Yeah, get a hit. Get a hit. Get a hit. Oops, that was a misclick there. But it's going to save my tower. Uh, I found a lot of people. Uh, let's put a. I don't want to lose to spawner deck mortar. Let's see how that goes for us. So we know he has the barbs, but we got their poison. I haven't seen minions, which is a good thing. Oh, we've got the fireball, which will take out a chunk. Had I gotten uh, a better placement. That would have been very helpful. Just build our fortress. I think it's time. We hit him with some poison. And then put us out out there by itself. Let that simmer for a little bit. I'm hoping that this is this will allow me to um, get a little bit of an advantage. It looks like I, I'm overwhelming, slowly but surely. Don't call me Shirley, but, and don't call me late for dinner. Oh, that was a bad placement. Poison time. Muy excelente. Fireball time for him. But his tower is going to be getting a whole lot more wrecked than mine. See, this is the, po the, the pushing power I was having issues with. Let's put it up front. Eek out all the damage we can eek out. Just drop it and drop it and drop it. 300 damage. Good game, good game. See, and that's how it goes. It's a attrition deck. But the, the good point in that uh, game right there was to show that it's not about just setting up a mortar. The mortar has other uses. It's a good card. Um, it's not just, hey, take out their tower. It, it, sometimes taking out the structures to allow your troops to get to the tower is all you need. Uh, and it allows you to place it way more defensively. And that's why I like it. I, I, oh, by the way, I love this new thing where it says, hey, here's your new messages. Uh, is, I'm going to lose it. Yep. The, the, it is brutal when you're holding level 3 epics, people are dropping level 5 plus epics. So, uh, this is me signing off. Uh, not sure when I'm going to upload this. Probably don't want to upload two videos today, so uh, most likely upload it tomorrow. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, uh, and if you do, Click that little thumbs up button. Click the thumbs down button if you must. Uh, but either way, leave a comment. Let me know. Uh, what would you like to see? Uh, I'm trying to figure out what to do with these. And today, I had my first time where I played a deck that I was essentially in construction. I had grabbed a couple cards, and it was this deck, and I didn't stand a chance. I got three crowned because this deck is not a deck. It's an assortment of cards. I was kind of pulling my highest level cards you know my level nine uh commons my level 
um, for Epix just to see what I've got, where I've got it, and kind of see where I want to go. And oh my god, I want the freaking princess. She's right here. I can't click on it. I'm in Arena 7. I don't know why I can't click on it. And the most annoying part is, is look, I can click an Ice Wizard. Can't click her because I don't have her. And I thought that the the super magical chests had a high percentage chance of getting one. And then I watched uh, Gaming with Molt, and he opened what, four, five of them and got zero. I was watching uh, Clash on Gone on the development side. He opened a hundred magical or super magical chests and got twelve making it a 12% chance, which I don't quite buy because I we have a lot of clan mates that have them and most of them bought one, maybe two, uh, super magical chest. So what are, your, uh, what are you guys finding? Are you finding legendaries? Uh, we had one person in our clan who got one out of a free chest. That would be wonderful, to say the least. All right, Zero Cool signing off, and uh, stay clashy. Peace.